Conor, Conor Mullally. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Now, apart from being a back for the Dublin Miners, congratulations on your win on Sunday. Thanks. Well Thank done, man. Thanks. I believe the children are the future. So <laughs> 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 what happened? Uh, can I just say just before I begin the story, uh, I just thought I don't want to be putting a bad light because he was a gentleman about the whole thing just just before that gets out. But uh, yeah, no, he's a very nice lad. But um, there was three of us uh, on Grafton Street uh, the night before last at about three o'clock and um, we were just talking wherever we were planning on going back to our captain's house to save brains uh, just for a bit of crack. And um, just some, some man comes up to us, he was small enough, wearing a hat, and just started talking to us. We didn't really take too much notice of him at the time, just kind of general conversation. And he kind of suddenly hit us who it was. It was Daniel Radcliffe just standing beside us. Wow. Uh, he, uh, chat led the chat and we kept talking for ages. And he, he, just, he asked for the Irish experience. Like he was, he was stone cold sober, perfectly being absolutely gent about it. And uh, we kept walking up Grafton Street with him. He, he was keen on coming back to the captain's house uh, to enjoy like what we had achieved and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the GAA thing kind of hit him and he, he was just over the moon but anyway, I had to use an umbrella above his uh, to keep in front of his face so no one would att- we wouldn't attract attention because uh, like people come out of copper face jacks and stuff uh, after after night or whatever so. with Harry Potter was he by himself? Exactly. he was yeah he just he, he was walking up Grafton Street I don't, I don't know how or why but uh, he said He's over here filming some a uh, movies here until Saturday or something. Someone's yeah, saying he's filming staying in the Shelburne if you listen to texting. Yeah, yeah, you think he is the F word, you think he said it's called. But um anyway, we were walking and uh, a few people had stopped him like, Oh my god, that's a Daniel Radcliffe uh look alike and we were like, Oh yeah, what are you talking about? That's one of our friends or whatever. So he kept walking and ignoring all that stuff. And uh, he we he pulled over a taxi and was like, Okay lads, let's uh, let's go back. So we got in the taxi myself, I uh, give a special mention to Niall Walsh, uh, wing forward in our team as well, and uh, we went and we went back to Dundrum and uh, he when we got out he he suddenly realised or I think he knew all along that he didn't have any money. I know none of them probably a safe way to be and he, we had to pay for his taxi. <laughs> He has plenty of money, just not on him. Yeah, exactly. But uh, no, we, so we paid for that anyway, and um, we uh, ran up to the door ahead, ahead, up ahead of the two lads in the back uh, to tell the lads that he was here. Um, and see the look on their face when I told them, all sprinted out. And I, I tell you, was scared the size of some of the lads. The lad Dave Campbell, his size of them running out, and he, he said to us in the taxi, just please, no aggressors. I don't want any fights or anything. Thinking yeah. that we, yeah. So he ran out and he was so scared, but he just ran up, gave him a big hug, and that, the whole spirit, everything was in good manner. So. Um, and how, how long was he in the house for? Uh, I'd say he was in the house for about an hour and a half. And. Um, and- he had a couple of fizzy drinks, did he? Uh, he did. He had a few, but he was in. He was in a good way. He wasn't. He wasn't. There. Oh, I know. Yeah. No. You just the, the photograph that, that's going around on Twitter this morning. You, you could tell he, you know, had a couple of scoops. Maybe. Uh, yeah, he did. He did. But uh, <laughs> no, it, was all, it was all good money. He was very nice about it. Ah, uh, yeah. No, he said uh, we, we straight story. We had some crack. We had some crack. So then he just said, "Right, lads, thanks for the experience," and and got a taxi again. Yeah, yeah. He, cause he, he had to be back on set for eight o'clock. So did you have to give him money for his taxi back? Uh, yeah. Me and again, me and Nawaz paid his taxi home again. <laughs> So he owes you. So now, next time you he bump into him, him. You, you could be in this, you know, at the the Cannes Film Festival or something. He owes you big time. He does, and he, <laughs> in fairness, he, he asked us for, for our numbers. Obviously, probably lost or whatever. But he was eager enough for myself and I lost his number, and um, well. yeah, he took that and went off with his his money in the taxi home. So is he your celebrity lucky mascot now for the team? He is, he is. He, he is? He is. He's got That's that. incredible, he's got, man. He's got that tag, yeah. I know, it's, there's some cracking in fairness. Now, if you want to go to FM 104's Facebook page, we, we just have to stick up with the picture. Who's That's one of the lads' kitchen that he's in, isn't it? Yeah, that's David Burns, our captain's fullback. He's, that's our captain's head. <laughs> it's just <laughs> incredible. Yeah, I know. So we won't believe it was surreal almost, but almost like a dream, but that was incredible, incredible. Well, listen, okay. you've had a great weekend. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> How do you Didn't stop you? that? I don't know what you're going to do next <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Uh, well done. We have, find, we have to find another celebrity now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, well, best of luck with the rest of the, uh, well, with the future, with the... Cheers, yeah, thank we'll you. Be, we'll be cheering you on, hopefully, in the senior team, not too far away. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. And he'll, Daniel will be over in a corporate box cheering you on, I'd say. He will, yeah. He'll buy a corporate box. <laughs> That's going to happen. That's going to happen. It's only a, it's only a matter of time. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Hopefully, hopefully. Right. Cheers, man. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks for talking great to story. us. Great story. That's incredible. That's brilliant. Daniel Rackett in your kitchen.
that's that's Dublin, isn't it? Like you never know who you're going to bump into. Really-